All right, and welcome back everybody in Twitch chat and also on YouTube for our next donation deck, which is going to be um, Orzov Midrange. So this is like an, an Orzov Angels deck for the most part um, with us having Resplendent, Seraphs, and Lyras. You all know how much I uh, like the Angels decks. Um, but to go along with them, we have a lot of other um, creatures as well, you know, um, in here uh, to help them out, to help support our Angels. Uh, one card that I haven't played basically ever is Izareth the Awakener. And so this will be pretty interesting to see uh, how Izareth the Awakener performs for us. We got two copies of this card. So whenever Izareth attacks, you pay X, and then you return a creature card with CMC X from your graveyard to the battlefield. Um, so, you know, like whenever... Like so, if we have like a Midnight Reaper on the battlefield, if we attack with Izareth, we get to, we can pay three mana and put Midnight Reaper from the graveyard back onto the battlefield. Um, same thing with all these other things. So, so that'll be interesting to see how that does. Um, I kind of like having a, two copies of Find in the sideboard. I think this is a this is an interesting sideboard choice that that I like. That um, if all of our creatures are dying, we just have double Raise Dead for two mana. Um, I think that's a a good card. So I actually like that in the sideboard. Um, and of course we got the Godly Honor Guard, real strong against Sultai, and so on. So, here we go. Orzov, midrange. So the corpse counter is only for just kind of, it just kind of tells you that this card was brought from the graveyard back to the battlefield, because then when it dies again, it gets exiled, so it doesn't go back to the graveyard anymore. Yeah, I'm not... The music, I'm not, the music doesn't go up for YouTube. I have multiple audio tracks. All right, let's finish getting the Rakdos Goblins deck up on YouTube. Rude. Tithe Taker. But I like my Tithe Taker. All right, so we're gonna need to draw, draw some more lands here. There we go, perfect draw. Um, how are we doing on lands in this deck? Only twenty-four. I, I wish that was a twenty-fifth. Do you know if creatures reanimated this way can trigger Reaper or not, or just like exile removal spell? Like whenever they die, uh, well, it's like reanimated. You know, like they'll come back, but whenever they die, uh, it will exile, so it will not trigger Reaper. Got a couple one twos. Opponent has five cards in hand. We got four. Never mind. Now they got six. I was gonna say we we're basically even. Yeah, no problem. Good question. Yep, the old eight turn clock. No, my seraph. So they, they kept both cards with Notion Rain and they kept the card with Thought Erasure. So they're, they must love the, the cards that are on top of their library. They just are keeping everything. Looks like they have a little bit of a budget mana base here with these guild gates.
I like that Orzhov Gilgate art. That looks pretty cool. So the Demir one looks nice also with that symbol in the background. Maybe they just have Contempt, or Mortify, stuff like that. All right, our seven, our clock's down to six turns now. No, I don't think our opponent's playing Settle at all. It's not a card that I care to play around. I don't think they have it. Hostage Taker is one that I would like to have like the mana available to instant speed Hostage Taker, but I think it's worth playing the Choops here. I just hope they don't have Hostage Taker. There we go. So, it's down to one card. Wow, they actually really did have Settle. That was not a card I was expecting at all. Like I said earlier, whenever I was saying I don't expect them to have Settle. Like when those words came out of my mouth, I wasn't kidding. Yeah, you called it, Kaliwab. Good news, it doesn't matter too much. So if I activate Resplendent Angel there, and then they use Removal Spell after I activate, then I don't get to play my Seraph. So I didn't activate. Uh, so I was able to play the Seraph. Alright, so removal heavy deck. Let's get the other Midnight Reaper in. Let's get the couple fines. Um, I like Choops. What about Duress? I don't think I want Duress. I think I just want to keep on, keep on keeping on with all these threats. Um, whoops. So this is 64... I feel like Lyra may be my worst card. Because it just costs so much mana and... Yeah, I feel like Lyra is probably my worst card because it just costs so much mana. And it doesn't have any kind of ETB effect. Or can gain card advantage like Doom Whisperer, we can Surveil. That puts me down to 61. Um, the Enforcer doesn't seem too necessary either. I'm going to take out the two Enforcers, and I'll play in one Duress. Yeah, let's do this. I want to keep a good amount of removal in. I'm not going to take out the Contempt. Um, I don't think it's Esper Hero, and I don't think it's Esper Control either. I think it's... It's similar to Esper Hero, but I. from all the cards we saw, it didn't seem like they would have actual Hero in their deck. But I think that that's the... Seems to be an Esper midrange deck that's similar to Esper Hero. Yeah, the, the Afterlife token could can be a blocker for Thief of Sanity. Um, but it's probably unlikely that they... You know, that they even kill the 1-2 at that point. Like, if there's a Thief of Sanity in play, like, I don't know how the 1-2 is dying.
Well, just like last time, they're keeping their cards on top that they're surveilling. Yeah, they did play Gates last, last game. So, Plaza of Harmony is kind of weird, but... Maybe Plaza is just a good card for like control decks, just a life that gains you life. A land, sorry, a land that gains you life. Maybe it's worth it for control decks just to be playing Plazas. Yeah, I guess this is more Esper control than I thought. Hey, Kalo King. So we, Thief was the only creature we saw them play, but they, you know, they just had three Thiefs. But they, of course, didn't do anything. Hope you had a good day, uh, Commander. At the shop. That sounds like a good Sunday. Chilling at the store, playing some Commander. Right on schedule. Well, now I feel bad for putting in Chupacabra instead of... You need to slow down. Contempt. Hmm. Alright, so this is just Esper Control, the head thief of Sandy's in the main. Good cards. Yeah, we're playing Orzov mid range. Us ourselves. Look a bell haunt. I could certainly see Bloodfast being in the sideboard, yeah. I could see that. You know what? I'm not done yet. Bloodfast and basically all the enchantments that gain you cards over time's value has certainly gone down. Um thanks to Uh, thanks to Mortify. Yeah, good chance my opponent has Settle. I'm still attacking their Teferi. I'm not going to just sit back and not attack. I'd like to be able to play my land so I can Memorial the Folly, but we know they have that Bell Hunt. Um, that would make me discard like Chupacabra. No time for a break. My opponent knows about the Chupacabra as well. Unfortunate timing on that Mortify. I have to just, t I, I really need to take that out because as Kanta, as you all know, is just such a good card. I really just have to take that out before it flips. 
Let's skip to the good Still don't think we're going to beat Teferi, but at least that gives us a chance. Because we're certainly not beating Ascanta. Plan B. Maybe we should have got Tithe Taker for the other one. Instead of Doom Whisperer. Certainly want to get Sarah for the scales. Maybe we should have just got Tithe Taker, because Tithe Taker allows us to double spell with Choop and, and Tithe Taker. Especially with like a Akaya's Wrath as like a car that could certainly be played. Now we, we know a little bit more about their deck though, for sideboarding for next game. Like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna certainly bring in all these all these duresses that I didn't bring in Don't make another move. Uh, last time. Hey, hey, Baus. Doing good. Having a good Sunday. Hope y'all are having a good day as well. Hmm. Hold that thought. So if I have Seraph block Bell Hunt, it does make it a little harder for them to protect Teferi. Okay, they didn't even attack. So now they're just going to mortify the Seraph. I don't get the two creatures. We feel pretty good about a third game. When we get like our duresses in and everything. See, what else do we have in our deck? Oh, yeah, we have four Midnight Reapers. That card's awesome in this matchup. But yeah, I'll get an extra Contempt. Um, yeah, an extra Contempt and uh, more duresses, three more duresses. We need to move quickly. But we're still trying this game, even though this game doesn't look good for us at all. Alright, I don't think we have to continue to try anymore. That'll do. Alright, let's get these duresses in and that contempt. We'll cut choops. And just cut cast down. Bring back a choops. I like the afterlife creature again now. Um, maybe we're, maybe we take some resplendence out. We're not going to gain us any value. 
Alright, here we go. Still have one troop in because, like, you know, we saw them even still have Thief and Bell Haunt in post sideboard. Yeah, Mortify is, is really important against the Nexus from the Esper decks for sure. Mortify is just in a really good spot with all the enchantments. Could there be a humans build in standard? Yeah, you could probably play humans in standard. In like Mardu color. Our hand's slow, but I like it. There's not really any specific payoff of just staying humans that I can think of. Besides just, yeah, I guess unclaimed territory. But the mana is good enough without unclaimed territory, so that's not that's not really a payoff. Um, banner. Banner could be a thing. Yeah, banner could be a thing. Vanquisher's banner. Yeah. That's a good card. make our opponent not be able to place all the wreckage against us basically with these tithe takers wow that was horrible for us I was thinking like cry the carnarium we were still good there or sorry not cry but sorry Kaiserath I was thinking Kaiserath were still good but cry the carnarium devastating trust me you'll thank me later Guess I should have just played Sarah for the scales on turn four instead of the double spelling. At least this time we have contempt for the Teferi. But if they have a second Teferi, we're dead. Yeah, that Cry of the Carnarium. Reckon us. Orzov Enforcer just kind of checks the Bell Hunt. So I, I think I'd rather keep the Find here for like whenever the creatures die. Is it worth putting only one copy of a card in your sideboard? Yeah, that's ab it's absolutely worth putting one one of's in sideboards. Absolutely, there are, uh, yeah, like, um, you know, there's a lot of cards that that uh, you may want one copy of in different matchups and everything. Um, the more card draw you have in your deck, also, 
the more likely it is that you draw those one ofs. So the better off you are. Um, so if you're playing something like like a control deck with a lot of card draw, the better one ofs become. You know, uh, having having different one ofs that is. Hey, what's up, Sculpted Mine? So yeah, I certainly don't want my Seraphs to get uh, settled, you know, so I can't really attack with both Seraphs into, like, settle the wreckage with us, our opponent playing that uh, every game against us. LaCroix with that resub. Thanks for using our Twitch Prime sub here, LaCroix. I get some hype in the chat. Sub number 11 and 99. And so, kept this land in my hand for Bell Hunt purposes. So Twilight Prophet's going to be pretty tough for us. It's going to be triggering every turn now. Get to draw an extra card every turn. Nightville Predator, and so then they gain four and we lose four, so every turn that's that's pretty tough. The popper deck actually worked really well. Uh, we we weren't really that close to losing any of our match any of our games. We uh oh thanks LaCroix. We uh won all of our games. Um Fairly, fairly quickly. I think it was like 30 minutes was like the entire, was like the five game set was like 30 minutes. Honestly, Finality would be a good card to be able to play right about now. But of course, we don't have access to Finality. Yeah, I could call Matthew. Yeah, the the persistent petitioners deck is already up on YouTube right now as we speak. All right, so the the contempt's a good draw there to get um, get that card out of here. I know the one extra mana I could have used to give Sarah vigilance, but whatever. If I if I would have vigilanced the Seraph, they would have just blocked the they would have blocked the vigilant one and still had that for the other one. I think our opponent's last card is settle, honestly. 
how they were playing earlier. I feel like they have settle. If they don't attack here, it's certainly settle. Yep, certainly settle. They did keep this card on top, though. A card that we don't know about. Chupacabra. I think I can go to 10. I'm keeping that find, but I think we can go to 10 to see the next card. And yeah, to not draw planes. That's yeah, fine. Three tokens settled. Cry of the Carnarium. The reason not to make that block. Did have the they did have the settle as predicted the problem with uh, playing another doom whisper is um, we don't get to, like, the problem with Doom Whisper is we don't get to Doom Whisper plus Mortify. Alright, pulling it just through a couple lands there. So we're just going to be able to Mortify that seal away. Alright. Good strong win. Even though opponent had millions of Wrath effects. And we are up a game. Yeah, Rakdos Goblins is about 10 minutes away or so from being up on YouTube, and the other videos are already up there. Dun, 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 dun. I think uh, Doom Whisper is really good against red. Um, as a six mana card, it or sorry, as, a, as like a sorry, as a six six power six toughness card, um, it ends the game really quickly. So against red, it's you know you don't need to pay life to surveil at all, but just you know six six is just really good stats against um, against red. 
you know, that they have to have like double lightning strike to kill it. Um, but if you kind of stabilize a little bit, trade off spells, then just having uh, a 6 6 at the end can end the game really quickly. All right, well, Orzhov Enforcer looks kind of strong there, where the, the opponent wanted to Chupacabra to kill it. That's pretty nice. Fortunately, we don't have any lands, per se. Hopefully, no Vivian. Please don't play Vivian. Well... That one's not a whole lot better, but it's not Vivian at least. Land. Ugh. Yeah, that one may be even worse. So we need another land for Seraph. And then Seraph Death Touch can take out Doom Whisperer. But that's looking, you know, a lot of turns down the road. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Yeah, I should have been more specific. That's the the one thing about this deck that that I, I did say kind of going in. I, I don't like 24 lands in this kind of deck where there's so many 4s and 5s. Like, I would rather be playing 26 than 24 land, but that's that's also kind of me. All right, well, we, we certainly can't beat Vivian. I've lost so much all I've seen and things that would break someone like you. Twenty four is just kind of not enough land. Not enough. All right, let's get extra ch choop, contempt, reaper, find. When all these cards. Um, Wait. Chupacabra Honor Guard. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um. Tithe Taker comes on out here. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of creatures, like, if this game goes long, we're going to have, like, a lot of creatures die, and so find is going to be nice for us. I think I want Squire to help us hit land drops. I think I want that, I'm worried about our land drops, so I want the Explorer early on. Maybe I just don't play Chupacabra with Honor Guard. Yeah, Resplendent and Lyra are kind of tough because they, they do die. But that's that's why we have Find. I'm going to kind of trim on both the numbers, though. Oh, is there a better choice for the sideboard slot? I don't, I don't think so. Like, two mana for draw two and draw, like, a specific two um, in the later game is, is really good. Especially when you have stuff like Takali Honor Guard, something you want to draw like that. But I like it quite a bit. I could could have taken out Cast Down, maybe. No, I took out Choops. Wait. This is an Explore thing. That's an Honor Guard. Wait a minute. Thanks, Jelly Tug. No, I don't think I wanted to play Squire on t turn two because this exact here, because you know that could have been their turn two play. I like getting the Honor Guard down as early as possible. It's kind of more of like a, a punt of like deck building, kinda. 
Maybe I should, maybe, or sideboarding maybe by me. Like, maybe I just, just, I just need to take out the Squires. Like, and then just bring in Resplendent Angel. I guess I should just take him out. I think that was like a bad, maybe bad sideboarding decision. All right, not double black. There's another black source. It's all these planes. Mono planes. Uh, there's a lot of creatures in the deck. The deck is mostly creatures. Uh, main board is... 30, 30 creatures. Can't even cast find. Doesn't matter too much. Of course, there's... Less creatures in our deck right now after sideboarding. I don't know the exact number. We haven't seen anything blue from them, but they, they do have Breeding Pool, so likely have Krasis. We haven't seen anything blue, though. Little surprised they didn't just pay two life and sur surveil again there. We of course don't know what, what they have in their hand, but I, oh, that's why because settle, Duh, settle is going to shuffle, so that's why. Right, they're shuffling. We got our second black source. So we have our Doom Whispers bigger than our Krasis, but it's likely our opponent has ways to kill the Doom Whisperer. Alright, so it certainly seems like finality here. Which I'm happy I'm happy with the finality. Considering I have find and I can get my Doom Whisperer back. That's a whole lot worse than finality. Yeah, we'll take we'll take the Dawnbringer and Doom Whisperer next turn. Hmm. Well, they did have finality also. I don't think we can win. I don't think we can beat Krasis. I mean, my, I mean, my play is is just Lyra, I guess. Like that's 
It's just better than anything else. It would be nice to have two mana where I could I could play the Orzhov Enforcer also. Yeah, ideas. That's yeah. That's that's certainly a good amount. Every deck is different. Like this is, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that you should be playing thirty creatures. Every every deck is completely different. Um, I wouldn't say that the more creatures is the better kind of thing, or the less creatures the better. They're not. Yeah, it, it just it always changes. Yeah, green mana would be nice. Right? Like, how do I beat that crisis? I don't think I can. They exiled Honor Guard with Frass's Contempt. I can't... I can't find back Honor Guard. Plus, Honor Guard doesn't do anything now. We needed it the previous turn, before the Choops and Jade Light. This is a cast trigger, so... Guess what deck won? Uh, I said before the weekend, I, I was guess when somebody asked me to guess what deck would, would win, I said uh, uh, Esper. That was my guess before the weekend, so I guess Esper. I, of course, have been streaming all day, so I haven't been, I haven't been watching the coverage at all, so I had no idea what was in the top eight or anything. Mono blue one. That makes sense. Mono blue is, is well positioned with all these uh, expensive. Expensive uh, mana, mana cost decks. Like this isn't even good for us. Like even if our like if our opponent has a removal spell, we're like really dead. But even if our opponent doesn't have a removal spell, uh, they still just have their crisis die, and then they get to get it back. I think the opponent should have just attacked out though, with the crisis being trample. But it's not going to really matter. We're very dead. Uh, against mono blue, you want to be you want to be aggressive. Mono blue is is really good at interacting with the stack with their counter spells, but they're not good against interacting on the battlefield. So if you're just playing creatures uh, underneath their counters, they're not going to be able to deal those creatures very well. I think I have one saddle left in the deck. Why is this cry symbol here? When they cast cry, you know, so many turns ago. And of course, very cheap removal spells are good against mono blue, like like one mana removal. Um, you want that for the their one drops. 
You need just cheap spells. You need to be able to interact um, with casting multiple things a turn. Hey, good job, Haydock. You went 3-1 with Esper quasi-duplicate at the showdown. Nice. All right, we have a donation deck here. So I guess we got a lot of new people in, so just, just kind of say to welcome in everybody. So we're playing a... Um, this was a donation deck that we are playing that is um, an, an Orzov midrange deck where we have, we have a good amount of angels with Resplendent um, Sarah for the scales and Lyra, but then we just also have um, a good amount of uh, smaller creatures also to kind of go with it for for some support. Three mana artifact. What makes all lands produce anything? And four crisis. That, that's the start. That sounds like the start of a deck. Hmm. J Bulls, thanks for subscribing there with Twitch Prime. Third month in a row. Thanks, J Bulls. And Tychorus. Get in there as well. Unfortunately, they had another Growth Chamber Guardian. I was hoping they were they were out after I cast down that one because the Growth Chamber Guardian Rhythm of the Wild combo is really nice. So it brings us down to 98 and 14, 13, 13 and 98. So thankfully Lyra is going to be able to deal with this Steel Leaf Champion just fine. Just don't want Lava Coil or, you know, any removal spell really. But our Angels are going to... They're going to do just fine against the green creatures. This one looks really good for us. <laughs> yep, only two more subscribers to the next pack opening. They go in haste? Oh, come on, opponent. So Lyra has first strike, so it doesn't die, and then we gain five life, so we get a five-five life link into play. Not a good attack there. Sothian. Thanks for that sub for the fourth month in a row. Or maybe not in a row, but seven for four months. Thanks, Sothian. Alright, and the opponent's down to two. What do they got? Bunch of nothing. Alright, so let's settle. Uh, Choop, Contempt, and... What am I taking out? Kind of like everything we have. Maybe Doom Whisperer? Takali does not stop Riot. Um, so Takali doesn't help us out there. Okay. Yeah, the the one-year sub is also supposed to be purple. Like, the regular one is black, and then the one-year is purple with the tie bar. But I can certainly see changing those up. Do 
Do I want to just... Um, I think I may just get rid of the Doom Whispers. I mean, I think they're actually good here. Um, but... <laughs> thanks, Bongo Man. But I, I actually just don't want the 5-mana card. So that's why I'm, I'm trimming it. I'm going to just trim those and one Tithe Taker, one Midnight Reaper. Those cards aren't necessarily bad, but we just have to take cards out, so... That's why I'm doing that. Um... I'll try this out. You know, we could certainly just do nothing, so we could certainly lose, but with one draw, with one land, we get to seek our squire and explore and look for, you know, more lands than really like Izareth Death Touch. Midnight Reaper is a good card to help us hit more lands. Chupacabra is like the best card, so. I like where we're at. Our opponent's on six card also, so it looks like they kept a one lander on their six card, so battle of one landers. Okay. It's good good to know. I'll I'll uh, look into changing that. Ooh, Unmoored Egoing, some Arclight Phoenix. That's when you know your day's going pretty good. Ugh. No, don't coil the Reaper. Okay, that's fine. I think Izareth is really underwhelming. Well, Izareth does have Death Touch. That's nice. Death Touch. Get to kill any of these things. Hmm. No land there. I really wanted to Chupacabra the Growth Chamber Guardian before they just got to get more Growth Chamber Guardians. Was that the latest single? Don't Coil the Reaper by Blue Orzov Colt. <laughs> Alright, just trading resources. Um, this should... You know, we should be drawing two cards with the Midnight Reaper. So we hopefully with those two cards and our next card, we'll, we should find uh, a fourth land for Chubacabra. Where if our opponent just Growth Chamber Guardians and then cast new Growth Chamber Guardian with their other two mana, uh, we can Chubacabra kill the new one. Looks like they're killing Squire instead of Midnight Reaper. No, I don't have allergies. My, I just have like a, like cold weather makes my my nose run. Um, I don't have the best nose, so, and it's just cold, and so my my nose just kind of runs in the in the winter. It's not the best life. Well, I did what I could to Chupacabra this Growth Chamber Guardian, but it didn't work out. 
It's tight staker time. <laughs> yeah, my nose is just always trying to stay in good shape. Has to get its exercise in. That's all that is. Thanks, Parappa. <clears throat> so if I play Resplendent Angel, I, I can double block with Resplendent Angel and Midnight Reaper on a Growth Chamber Guardian, and only one of the cards dies, like only Resplendent Angel dies instead of them both dying. Um... But I think Resplendent Angel is too important to have later on in the game. Hey, Boondocks. Uh, Southern, yeah. Uh, what's your near future plans are in the world of MTG? Any plans on going to Grand Prix or anything? Uh, no, I actually don't have any plans on going to Grand Prix or anything. My near future plans for MTG are doing what I'm doing here with streaming. Uh, each and every day and trying to put out the best streaming content that I can and also grow on the YouTube channel um, Wow So if I just cast one thing Yeah, we'll still have to go to discard um, Guess I'm discarding a tithe taker Um, kind of depended on the deck, Eddie, of whether I used custom tokens or or the real tokens. I I liked the real tokens for like value. To basically, value town. I I had the tokens and I used the real tokens with like voice resurgence and tireless tracker. Um, but for the most part, for other decks, um, because I kind of switched other decks quite a bit, I just used custom tokens. Hmm. Alright, so Steel Leaf Champion is going to hit us for a turn. There's a land. We're going to take, take one shot from the Steel Leaf, but then we'll have Choop take it down after that. Yeah, yeah, I, re I really like, uh, I really like Archer Veraska. 6-5 that just has to attack. Hmm. Could just play Lyra Dawnbringer. And just hope they don't have... Hope they don't have, like, a pump spell or a removal spell. But if Rubble Belt has to attack... Oh, man. Stop playing these Rubble Belts, opponent. If it has to attack, I just get to... Get these free blocks with Lyra. So this one looks like a uh, looks like a win from here. <laughs> yeah, you don't don't oftentimes hope that your opponent doesn't have a uh, combat trick, but I guess this is one of those times. All right, I'm just going to attack in the air. We'll just have a Lord's of Enforcer take out Recluse, even though we can kill it for free because I want that I want that uh, gain five life. Get another angel. Thanks so much for that sub there, Falix. I really do appreciate that. So that's sub number 14 on the day. I hope you're having a good weekend, Falix. Thank you so much. Or that's 15. We had 14 before. That is pack time. So 
Sub pack. So we're cracking open a cracking open Rivals of Ixalan's packs right now. Um, I already have all the cards for the most yeah, basically all the cards in uh Ravnica Allegiance, all the rares at least. And uh Rivals of Ixalan, I don't have all the rares and um I was thinking about maybe putting together a Storm the Vault deck in the future, so that's why I'm cracking open some Rivals of Ixalan packs to see if we find Storm the Vault. Yeah, this game's over. All right. Two and one. Wait, sub pack. I was literally just talking about that. Cancel button doesn't work. I'm bad at that sometimes. I'm just going on to the next game. When I'm supposed to be getting a pack. I'm certainly bad about that sometimes. Alright, we'll get the pack after this one. Do you know what will happen on Arena when the cards rotate out of standard? Yeah, we should have we should have a new format uh, to be able to use those cards that rotate um, out of standard. Um, I don't think they're like you know, so you you won't be able to use them, but they're not going to leave your account. You'll still have the cards in your account. Um, Cancel works. Yeah, it works, but there's like some some lag with it. Like you have to, you if you're getting paired in the next few seconds, it won't let you cancel. Uh, Theor, the Ewer, something like that. We're getting that Twitch Prime sub in as well. Thanks, the Ewer. Our cast down in. So I want to draw a land. I could just block with Izareth. We have a new, Iz a different Izareth. Could just make this block. Yeah, sure. All right, 96 there, 16 here. Uh, Izareth the Awakener. It's three mana, three, three death touch that whenever you attack with it, you pay X and then return a creature that costs X from your graveyard to the battlefield. So I hope they don't have a chupacabra or anything like that. You know, there's only two cards we don't know about. Cast down does not kill it because it is legendary. But we can attack with it and pay for and bring Ravenous Chupacabra back. Which is kind of cool. Might as well do that. Find finality, of course, is bad for us. Either way, finality is bad, find is bad. Those are both bad, but they don't have that card. We're doing pretty good here. <laughs> yeah, we got the corpse counter. That's the first time I've ever gotten a corpse counter on creature. First time I attacked with uh, Izareth. 
Your favorite card's Kite Seal Freebooter. That's a good one. It's a good card. So after this league, we're, we are going to be playing, uh, whenever we pick up either our second loss or our fifth win, we're going to be playing a four-color discard. It's just a, a four-color control deck uh, with a lot of discarding stuff with Thought Erasure, uh, Disinformation Campaign, Nicol Bolas, and Angrath. But then it also plays White for Mortify and Kaya's Wrath. Cause just cause basically playing White because Kai's Wrath is the best Wrath. And then we got Teferi as well. So that'll be our next deck up. These Resplendent Angels aren't very good for us considering they still have Cast Down and they have that Vivian. But still playing it. Yeah, it's incredibly, incredibly greedy. With you know, trying to play Come to me. You know, Nicol Bolas and Um Kaya's Wrath. But it worked out pretty well the first time we played it, so it'd be interesting to play it again. Something like Justicer's Portal would clear the corpse counter. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know exactly what Justice, Justicer's Portal does. Meet my newest friend. Yeah, because um, Izareth says though that like if if the creature leaves the battlefield at all, you exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. Azorius Tempo, possible in Modern with Dovin. I wouldn't be too high on that. I'm not so sure about Dovin and Modern. Not so sure about that. But DMAC, thanks for subscribing there, Twitch Prime. That's sub number 95. Or, so, 95 more till the 12-hour stream. Sorry. And then sub number 17. Okay, Portal makes you, allows you to remove the the corpse counter on it. Um, do they have cast down here? I sure hope they don't have cast down. Not dead yet. Because they didn't tap like those two. Uh, no difference on my end between Twitch Prime sub and regular sub. You know, uh, Twitch Prime, just having Twitch Prime gives you a sub each month. This Hydroid Crisis card is pretty good. Yeah, and the Twitch Prime sub does not renew by itself. You have to manually renew each month. Fix magic. Welcome to the stream as well. Y'all are awesome. Thank y'all so much. Um, let's go mortify yet again. And midnight reaper. 
and attack. So I'm still at a very healthy 18 life. This 94 and 18. Huh, I don't know, DMAC. That was weird. Alright, they got lots of mana. Alright, so yep, looks like finality. So we'll we'll get to draw three cards, which is nice. Certainly like that. Oh, just two cards, actually. No, because that other one just gets exiled. Oh, so that's not as good. That's not nearly as good. Just two cards. I mean, it's... I guess it's 67% of the way is good. Oh, thanks, DMAC. Okay. Man, another crisis? Things just never stop. So that's their fourth one. So, uh, we only got two cards because the Chupacabra was exiled because it had a corpse counter on it. I don't really, don't really have any, like, real good draws here. Um... Like, I kind of just need more removal. Don't know how much removal I really have. Splendid Angel is good. Next turn, we're going to Resplendent and Lyra. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. That can't help you now. I just don't have like any removal left in my deck. I already drew like our removal that we had earlier. So all these cards are horrible. Hostage Taker is OP. I mean, it's Hydroid Crisis. Our opponent cast four Crisises. Like they just drew so many cards, they've, they've cast four Krasises. Krasi. 
You know, we can't compete with that. Yeah, I don't think our deck is very good in this matchup. This is the matchup we lost last lost before also. Alright, so if I take out the Squires and the Choops and put in Honor Guard and Settle. Maybe some Duresses to help protect the Choops, I guess. They got Izareth and Orzov Enforcer, or Tithe Taker. These cards haven't been very impressive. Yeah, Protect Honor Guard. That's what I meant to save. If I said something else. Um... We're going to have to have a whole lot of things go right for us. We're going to have a whole lot of things go right for us. You know, we're only a 24 land deck, so we have to like hit land drops. Which is like number one. Okay. All right, so keeping the land heavy hand. So after we hit land drops, we have to have like our angels or doom whisper. And then we also have to have our opponent not to have removal. Just kind of everything needs to go right. It certainly doesn't seem like it will very often. It depends on the curve of the creature deck. They're shocking in there. They either have cast down or negate. Um, if it's negate, I don't want them to necessarily be able to use negate right there. Okay, all the cast downs in the world. Um, so yeah, it really depends on, on the curve of the creature heavy deck. Like if, if you have a whole lot of ones, twos, and threes, you you have a different curve from like fours and fives and sixes. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I wanted to surveil there. But I usually like 25 lands in my standard decks. Um with variants from there, whether going to... Well, thankfully we just drew a, a great card, so we're lucky. But, you know, kind of switching from there to like 24 or 26, depending. Alright, RVN. Stream time. Alright, so it still worked out. Pretty surprised they're not just playing Wild Growth Walker first. But I guess they think I, I will cast down their Wild Growth Walker. Or I guess they just want to hit land, and Wild Growth Walker doesn't help them hit land. Yeah, that's why. They wanted to hit their land immediately. Oh, nice, Matthew.
We're going to be going a little bit late on the stream today. Usually I'm streaming until 10 Eastern time. You can find me here every, each and every day from 3 to 10 Eastern. Um, we're going to be going a little later today with having the four color control deck still to go. Are you playing with a pen? There you go. You want to play with this pen? No? Alright. So, killing the Llanowar off to, um, make the Krasis smaller. Like, if they draw a land here, they get to Krasis for three, or Krasis for, uh, sorry, Krasis for four and draw two, and now even drawing a land, they won't be able to draw two. Yeah, so they would have been able to draw two, so we're keeping, keeping them to only getting a draw one. All right, so a lot of things went, went right for us that game. Our opponent uh, was stuck on two lands. That was certainly something that went right. So, that helped out. After Wizard gifting another sub out in the channel. That's sub number 19 on the day. So, if we get one more sub before this match ends, we'll be cracking open two packs after this. Thank you so much, After Wizard. So, enjoy the emotes, Javelin. All right. What else? I, so, I kind of want this fourth duress. Let's do it. Fourth duress over Mortify. We're like, find finality. Vivian Reed. Um, removal spells for my Takali Honor Guard. That's what I'm worried about. And Crazy Pyro gifting a sub to Jerska. Welcome to the stream. Jerska. And Utica plays with the Twitch Prime sub. That gets some more hype in the channel. Okay. Get some hype in the channel. Okay, hype. He's like, why are you saying my name? Alright, cracking up in two packs after this. So, I gotta remember it this time. That's to remember. Trophy, trophy, find. Get that find out of here. Trophies, whatever. Kill my thing, I go get a land. Sub goal 25 is another pack. Basically, it's it's a pack. Each each five subscribers or buy a pack. And crack it open. Because cracking packs is fun. Now I'll, I'll be blocking the Midnight Reaper, or be blocking with Midnight Reaper on Jade Light if we get the chance here. We may not. want to settle 
and give them three more lands. Just gonna mortify this thing. And I'll just take two. That's a good card to draw. That's a good card. That's true. If they would have found an explore creature, it would have been taken more. Oh, do they, do they draw Disdainful Stroke? No, don't counter this. Okay, good. Thank you. That was 10 years through the iris. At least I, I think it was through the iris. It was definitely 10 years. And it was that album that through the iris was on. Yeah, there you go. Called it. Usually people really like the Seraph animation. Alright, so I'm trading two tokens here for a WoW Growth Walker um, and not taking any damage. Certainly like that trade. Let's get this druid out of here to keep them from having lots of mana. Um, and I think we're gonna be winning this game. It looks good for us right now. You know, we'll see if they draw removal for this resplendent angel or not. But we do have. Okay, looks like not. I say we do have memorial to folly also, depending on the removal spell our opponent would find. And this is where Resplendent Angel takes over. Late game. Whether our opponent made a 3-3 or a 2-2 doesn't really matter. Now that that's the card that's a problem. That's a problem. Huh. I need to draw... Hmm. That's not it. That's not it. I mean, I guess it's not that big of a problem. It's just going to kill my Resplendent Angel. Would have liked to draw some kind of removal spell for the Lanwar Elf to kill it so they wouldn't have the 5 mana, but... Alas... Wild animals, I like. That's not that big of a problem because we have all these flyers here. <laughs> Get that We're at out a, of here. At a healthy life total. I'm not blocking Jade Light. Not bad. For a mouse. Yeah, the, the additional menageries in that deck come in against uh, really removal heavy decks. They're killing all your creatures.
when I was playing it, I think I kind of liked... I think I kind of honestly liked just having... Um... I think I may just want one extra Menagerie in that deck, honestly, instead of instead of two. I think maybe you don't need all four, but I, I certainly liked the third. Why you took the knight and not the token? Um, so yeah, they had they had a four three Jade Light Ranger, and I just blocked with the uh, with the the Midnight Reaper because it just got to got to trade with it, get us a card. The um, I liked the other token to sit back and chump block the 6-8 again. So I wanted the two tokens to be able to chump block 6-8s. Right here, I think my plan is... I don't think I was going to cast Settle there. My plan with Shocking in there is to uh, use my Memorial to Folly to get back my other my second Resplendent Angel and attack him again and just have another Resplendent Angel. All right, 3-1. And let's get a couple packs. So we're still only going to get our... Rivals Vixalon pack to try to get a Storm of the Vaults. And let's get an M19 pack as well. These are the... Those are the two sets that I uh, have the least amount of rares. We'll do the M19 one first. What do we got? Metamorphic Alteration. Hmm. Not the best. And then our rivals is going to be Storm the Vault. It is! Called it! Alright, that's the first one. There we go. First one of those. Nice. So it'll be a little while before I make a Storm the Vault deck, but eventually... Once we get a couple more of those, uh, we'll see if we can make something sweet with that. You love that card in your Sahili deck? Really? That's gotta be a Sahili commander deck. Alright, Seeker Squire. Yeah, Commander deck. Cool. Yeah, sure, sure is crazy. This could be a whole lot of life gain. Um, Resplendent, Seraph, and then Lyra. We have a, a really good angel curve. We'll see if our opponent has like lava coils to slow us down or not. Uh, strike. We have been stricken from the record. Let's just go ahead and shoot while, while we know our opponent doesn't have a dive down here, because, well, I mean, they could have a dive down, but they don't have the mana for one. We'll just go ahead and shoot away this Drake. Uh, 
Oh, okay, the Commander 18 one. Okay, I gotcha. I didn't know that. That's what she did. So if our opponent attacks with the Crackling Drake, we know that they have a dive down. Um, wouldn't necessarily expect the attack, though. Seraph gets to have Death Touch, so even Dive Down doesn't stop Seraph. Hey! Thanks, Crazy Pyro, with that donation for playing the T Swift. T Swizzle. I know, I know, manually tapping. Don't do it very often, but sometimes it's, just, it's uh, best to do it. Hmm. Nah, I don't even need to do... Don't even need to do uh, Vigilance. I'm just gonna play the new Seraph. And even if this Seraph leaves, which it does not, we, we have a new Seraph in town anyway. Shock me? That's not a very good shock. Why didn't she just like double shock a Seraph? Always nice to get out of the lab. This is gonna hurt. That one did hurt. You're right, Ral. That one was going to hurt, and it did hurt. Alright, one Crackling Drake down. Trade these with, with Drakes. Alright, more Drakes down. Well, the bad news is we're out of angels. Never mind. That plan's about to be rectified. Ooh, let's see what we got. I don't know, opponent. What do you have? Hey, yeah, okay. How you doing? <laughs> I'm not expecting fiery cannonade in the main deck. Right after Wizard, yeah, I miss, miss some Value Town, too. All right, how are they doing on spells over there? A ton? Yep, they have a ton. They can adapt to that easily. All right, well, let's... I'm playing around one shock. If my opponent has one shock and then... Um, You have to have one shock and then blocks. Like, shock's a 1-1, one, one, block's a 1-1. One, one. Then... Ral stays alive. No amount of science is gonna fix this. And I'll just sit back with this black mana available for death touch for the Seraph. Yeah, if I play Reaper first, 
I think our, our opponent probably blocks one of the 1-1s one so we don't draw a card. Probably. I'm not sure. Izareth is a good draw here. Izareth is really sweet. Being able to get... Izareth can put our Seraphs or Lyra or anything like that back into play. Alright, Reaper down. Of course, Izareth can get back Ravenous Chupacabra as well. I like all this cat hair on my face now, Hawkeye. It's your fault. Alright, let's get another Chup. Another Contempt. Um, all these Duresses. Tithe Taker doesn't do a ton. It does a little bit. That's a little bit. Hmm. Orzhov Enforcer. There's never going to block it. Yeah, we could have Sideboard Settle against them. That could certainly be an option. Saw how good Seraph of the Scales was there. You know, like they just kept killing our Seraphs, but we just made so many 1 1s. They couldn't handle it. I'm expecting Fiery Cannonade in it now, though. I can't cast Finality. I don't have any uh, green mana. Find, find could certainly be worth it, though. I could see fine to being worth it. Am I just cutting like Seeker Squire also? Just have such a high curve. I don't think I can get rid of Seeker Squire. I don't like how there's only 24 lands in this deck. So I think I need the Seeker Squire to uh, help hit the land drop with the Explorer. Hey, Thorns. If there's anything Sir Mix-a-Lot taught me is don't be afraid of curves. That's the thing, I, I want our deck to have curve, not just all four and five mana. I want it to have a curve. Hey, what's up, Julius? All right, that's good. We got that Ral out of their hand. I don't, was there Ral this alternate art last time? I don't think it was, which would, you know, infer that our opponent has multiple Rals in their deck. All right, at least our Resplendent Angel is not getting stricken. No stack at all. Hawkeye's just replaced me. Angels. Dang. Oh, 
We could have had like the two angels to go along with the Lyra next turn, gain eight, make two tokens. That would have been really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cat cam would be something, would be, would certainly be cool. Um, Hawkeye's not always like in the same place though, and I don't have like any extra cameras or know how to set that up or anything. Could be Orzov Angels. That could certainly be a name for it. Um, there's only three angels in the deck, so I, I didn't name it Angels, but. Yeah, it could certainly just be Ors of Angels, absolutely. I just went with um, mid range because of all the other creatures in the deck. <laughs> yeah, we already have a cat cam. All right, so if Seraph eats Beacon Bolt, we still have like two one ones that we get to block with. Think about taking the 10. So I don't think it's reasonable to take 10 there. I'm not sure why lightning striking the token was so important, I guess. I guess that's why. So. Gotta hope they don't have dive down, I suppose. Yeah, because dive down will kill me. Alright, good. No dive down. Man, Seraph is so good. So good against Beacon Bolt. It could, could of course, found a Lava Coil by now, but hopefully not. The good thing is they can't just ignore Seraph even though it's a 4-3 because it can gain Death Touch. They're going to just have Death Touch. Alright, so that's, that's two Beacon Bolts. You don't usually see more than two. Two is usually the number you see in these decks. Mystic can make some some annoying one ones. Thank you. No, okay. Um. 
Hmm. How low do we do we really want to go here? Um. Chupacabra. That's a reasonable card. Seen our opponent play a bunch of lightning strikes and shocks and everything like that. Leaving one creature back in case they did have... Um, like an end step lightning strike and a, you know, opt or anything like that. All right, four and one. GG there. Yeah, the, the fire mines research at the end game. It's not. Not the card you want to be drawing late uh, in the contest. It is final boss time. We are 4-1. and one. All right, Rocket Man. Find us our final boss. Can we win this and get to five wins? Or are we going to lose and have pick up our second loss? We do not have any extra lives. We've already used our extra life. Some good hot chocolate. Hmm. I think I can do this. So I Seeker Squire is a strong card. I don't like seeing basic swamp. It kind of tells me maybe Soul Tie. Yep. I think this is a real bad matchup for us. We did get fortunate to win a match earlier here, but I don't think we're going to be very good against Golgari. Putting a creature in the graveyard is not even that bad of an idea with Izareth. Anyway. Beam, thanks for keeping that streak going. Ten months for subscribing there. You're a rock star. Keep up the good fight. Well, thank you so much, Intellibeam. That bumps our sub count for the day up to 22. And we are at 90. Ooh, there's... Bumps up to 23 with Blitz. Batman getting in on the action. Thanks, Blitz. Uh, it's telling me right now we're at 94. Away from the next emote goal now. Oh, 93. Okay, just updated. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. Vivian's Feel a great card. the wrath of Scala. I don't think trading Seeker Squire for either of those cards is a, is a good trade for me. No one knows the wilds like I do. Okay. That's not another Chupacabra. No more Chups. We need this Doom Whisperer to fly over the top.
just have two white mana right now. So I can't actually resplendent and mortify. Gotta mortify this thing then. I don't want Vivian to stay around. So I kinda gave them the choice there. If they if they just if they don't block, then I get to play Resplendent Angel. Um but they did block, so I had to mortify. I will take that Lyra, thank you. Lyra's a good one. Whenever we lost to Sultai earlier, Hydroid Crisis was a big part of that. They had all four Hydroid Crisises. And, you know, they used a couple ones early because they were missing land drops or something like that. But they used a couple ones early, but I mean, they just, you know, kept on just gaining more resources and then just a really big crisis, another really big crisis, and so on. Every fight makes me stronger. Ugh. This is nothing. Seraph's good. Seraph's really good against Vivian. As an identity crisis. Certainly, certainly a major crisis. You can't was on my hands. Nature. Seraph is good against Vivian, like to start with, because of uh, Vivian's tick down leaves her at two loyalty, and Seraph Brink has. Uh, Brings two extra. On Mirror March and Limited? I don't know, actually. I've, I actually never got Mirror March for Limited, so I don't really have... Um, I don't have a, a big opinion on it. I, w I would not think it's... I would not say that it's... That it's trash. I would not say that. All right, let's kill that. Ah, not again. But it still has six cards because of crisis. Oh yeah, Seraph has never been bad. Seraph certainly one of the strongest cards, if not the strongest card in the deck. Because, like, Lyra and Resplendent Angel are stronger cards, but they're a lot more vulnerable to removal, and Seraph's not. Yes, our final boss playlist. Over the past three. Three songs. Hmm. Really? That thing? Two? I kind of need that death touch from the Seraph.
Alright, so I'm gonna be able to folly back Lyra. Like, even if, like if Seraph stayed around, and I could still folly back Lyra this next turn and have Seraph and Resplendent Angel. Um, if I just had those, we'd be in a better spot. You know, like, we'd be able to gain a whole lot of life. But if their, if their card is just a dead card in hand, if it's just a land, we could still be fine. Yeah, this is final boss music. Alright, so if I activate Resplendent Angel... No, I'm gonna just wait. I'm just gonna play this. <laughs> really? Your senior class chose that for graduation? I think we got this. I don't know how our, like, like what slot our, our opponent has this Carnage Tyrant in their deck. But if they don't have four Krasis, like I'm guessing they do not have four Krasis and this one Carnage Tyrant is over, you know, a fourth Krasis. And that is going to be how we win this game. Seraph doesn't have first strike. Seraph could have Death touch, but not first strike. So if that if that Carnage Tyrant was another Krasis, we wouldn't be winning that. Because they would just have a bunch more cards. Alright, so Troops, Contempt. Find. Honor Guard, Settle. Dress. Kind of everything. Reaper's good. All that stuff's good. I'm gonna take out Whisper, Taker, Squire. Where were we at? 64? This is 62. Sixty-one. Yeah, the Honor Guard Chupacabra combo. Guess that one's not so good. You get back in here. And you get back in here. Alright, let's do that. Could have blocked the Tyrant with the Angel token and gotten another token for free. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I could have just gained five life and just gotten another token for free. Yeah, so I could have just blocked with the Angel token and the 1-1 one -one token. Yeah, 
Yeah, I usually forget about that. Of uh, Resplendent on their turn as well. With that five. Hopefully we're in that same scenario. So <laughs> Hopefully that comes up again. We have good removal. I'm oh, sorry, we have good mana and good interaction. But no threats yet. All right, well, Midnight Reaper starts that off right there. <laughs> yeah, we won that game. We weren't really expecting to win that game, but we did. I'm saving the duress till later. Um, like Vivian Reed and Find Finality are like two cards that I really want to be getting. Like especially Vivian with the duress. Um, so I can kind of wait till they have like more mana. Maybe our opponent only had those two lands and they just kept this Jade Light Ranger. But we killed a Llanowar Elf. Nah, they had a land. Dang. Yeah, I don't know why all the, the angels are mythics. I mean, I guess... They're just kind of like the... I don't know, the, the top end of the sets. They're the set sellers, I suppose. So it's a good amount of power on the battlefield for our opponent. Honor Guard would, Takali Honor Guard would be like our best draw step here, where I could have like duressed a removal spell to protect the Honor Guard and then play Honor Guard while they're drawing Jade Light Ranger. That would have been like our best draw. All right, we're going to be duressing next turn. Hmm, maybe not. I guess I wait a turn. Let them draw that disdainful stroke. They do have seven power on the battlefield. They draw that, then I go duress on our guard. Honor guard probably won't do a whole lot from here. Yeah, you know, they, they're kind of out of explore creatures. Trophy and contempt. They don't have a second black for tro for contempt. Trophy just gives us a land. Well, you know, so like both disdainful stroke and Lyra get rid of, or sorry, both disdainful stroke and trophy get rid of a Lyra, but um, trophy gives us a land. Kali does not stop Krasis. Krasis has a cast trigger. Well, that's good news for us. Now we know we get to hit them once with this with a lifelink Seraph.
This is looking really good for us. So I expect our opponent to Assassin's Trophy this Lyra Dawnbringer. Um, during combat here. I don't think, no, I don't think Krasis will be er errata. That's not a, a kind of thing that they can really errata. You can errata like small mistakes. Um, I, I do think Orzov is better than Mardu as far as Angel's decks go. Um, but I, I like uh, Mardu and Mardu and Esper are my two favorite Angel's decks. Oh. Okay. So they must have like a Jade Light, but still... Chupacabra? Hmm. Hostage Taker. That should be game. And that's 10 in the air. Final boss defeated. 5-1. There we go. Twenty one hundred gold, two rares that I guess I already had those rares. All right, Bant Angels, the Green Angel decks. Um, at least whenever I've tried making the Green Angels decks, I've like wanted like the Explore package because it's good, but then I kind of feel like I'm a worse version of Soltai, and haven't liked it as much. So I tried. Um, I don't. I don't think I put together Bant, but I tried. Abzan and, and Naya. This this deck that we just played, the Sorzov Midrange deck, this I did not put this together. This was a donation deck. You can see that's what the DDs here stand for. That means a deck that I, I didn't put together. Um, but it played pretty well. I think the biggest thing here... Um, thanks, Julius. The biggest thing here is that I think this should be a 25 land deck. Um, that's like one of the, the biggest thing. Um... Izareth was okay. Um, you know, it wasn't amazing, but it, it was okay. Like, I think it was fine. Um, I could certainly see not not playing it also, but um, it was okay. I could see playing um, History Banalias. You know, it's it's kind of hard to say that Izareth and Orzov Enforcer are better than like History Banalias, um, but those those would be pretty nice. Um, I think Izareth could be a cut for a 25th land. Um, Doom Whisperer was all right, but not like spectacular. I don't know if this is even better. I don't like. I don't know if Doom Whisperer is better than Angel of Grace because of how Angel of Grace works so well with Lyra. Um, but it was okay. I liked Chupacabra. Chupacabra did some good work for us. Um, And I thought Find Finality was pretty good in the sideboard. That was that was a good sideboard ad there. I liked that one. Um, the Tithe Takers are okay. And, and Enforcers are fine against the other creature decks. I don't know. You, you need the... You definitely need two drops. No, they're not perfect, but you need two drops. Um... Yeah, I think as a sideboard card, I would want. Um, I think I'd want Immortal Sun or Sorceress Spyglass, something to shut down Vivian. Because Vivian's a, a pretty big problem. But. There we go. You started with Immortal Sun? Okay. Yeah, moved away from it. Vivian's just kind of the, the big problem with it. But 
All right, so thank you so much, Julius, for this donation deck. Um, very nice. Uh, so if you were uh, watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, for those of you here in the chat, if you missed any of the videos or if you want to see any replays, uh, make sure you go follow the YouTube channel. We are under 100 followers away from doing a 12-hour stream on YouTube. Um, YouTube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. That's where you can find all of the decks. Even these ones from before, I put them up immediately um, up there on YouTube. Um, how do you feel your matchup with Teferi is? Probably pretty bad. I think that's that's like the that's like where you're going to kind of struggle. I think Midnight Reaper does help that matchup. I think that's that's very good in that matchup, and also like these afterlife stuff uh, can kind of help like with Kaya's Wraths. Um, but Midnight Reaper is pretty good there. But overall, I would not expect the Esper um, control matchup to be good. But you know, it's hard to have good matchups all the way across the board, of course. But there we go. All right, if you're watching this again on YouTube, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.